Negro folk songs and spirituals, the true Americana in music, known the world over for simplicity and beauty, have been heard in France since the D-Day beaches of Normandy. And as the might of Allied forces rolled through that country, the songs rolled with them until now they are on the advance airfields of the first tactical air force, sometimes within the sound of German guns. for this battalion of engineers. Wherever they go, they lay the runways for the aircraft, sometimes carving a new airdrome from virgin planes, sometimes repairing an airfield that was pounded by American rat air might during the sorting out process that preceded the invasion. Most of the 200 voices that comprised this famous choir while it was training for war remain with the battalion, but the work is distributed over such a large area that it is almost impossible to get them all together for a concert. No matter how small the choir, though, this group that once thrilled thousands in the Royal Albert Hall in England now thrills comrades in arms who were wounded and are in hospitals or fighting men back from the front for a much needed rest. These engineers work day and night, but always manage to find time to bring music, happiness, and a touch of home to all who need it. Then back to the important job, singing as they fight the battle of freedom.